Hi everybody, Jeff here. Hey, I want to show you a common wiring mistake that's made with smoke detectors. And I found this at my friend's house today when I went over there and found both of their smoke detectors were inoperative and they had no idea. So what happens here is, do you see, we have the white wire, which is your neutral, it's connected correctly. You get the black wire next to it and it's connected correctly. But the problem I found here was that your orange interconnect wire not only was it not connected up into the can, into the red wire, but you can see they never even stripped the insulation off of it. So these two wires here are supposed to be tied together and with a wiring nut, one of those yellow wiring nuts that you see there, should be tying both of these together after you strip the insulation off of the orange wire. So what does this mean? This means that if another smoke alarm goes off on the other side of the house, this smoke alarm here in front of the girl's bedroom is not interconnected and it will not trigger it will not set off when the other smoke alarms go off and that's the way they're supposed to operate for maximum safety and so we need to fix this right now so let's show you how to make this repair okay so do yourself a favor and check all of the smoke detectors in your house and what you want to do is flip it over on the back and look for that date code so you see how this one says it was manufactured september 6th 2018. now if you don't have a date code on yours then yours is probably too old and you should just throw it out and get a new one so this pertains here to the wired type of smoke detectors which most modern houses should have because it's building code requirements that your houses have them all interconnected and wired so as you can see there the black line goes to your power your 120 volts the white wire is your neutral and the orange wire gets connected up into the ceiling to that red wire that we're about to show you what to do and that is the interconnect that is what signals the other smoke detectors to sound the alarm when one of your smoke detectors picks up smoke okay so now we are stripping the orange wire from the smoke detector here this is the interconnect wire and we're going to pull that red wire down out of the junction box from the ceiling and we're going to twist the two together now we're twisting both the wires together with my lineman pliers and I like to get in at least three or four good twists and then we're going to tug on both of them always double check your work make sure they're nice and snug that they're not coming apart once the wiring cap has been added we push all the wires back up into the can and now we're just going to rotate the smoke detector back into place there and let it snap into place and you should always test your smoke detectors about at least once a month and look for that green light. See, that's how you know that you have power going to the unit and then you push the test button. So you heard the echo of the other smoke detector on the other side of the house and that's the way it should test out every single month. So that is proof that your repair worked on your smoke detector because now we know that the interconnect signal is working between the two smoke detectors. So this is probably one of the most common wiring errors we see with smoke detectors. And this is what you want to try to avoid. So thanks for joining us folks and we'll see you on the next one.